Born Paul Kihara Karaoke, the last born son of the late Bishop Obadiah Karaoke, a pioneer in his own right, whose influence probably rubbed off on his son, as his first job was within the very vestibules of the Anglican Church that his father served. Justice Kihara served here as the chief legal advisor or counselor of the Anglican Church of Kenya. Paul Kihara Karaoke started his legal practice at the law firm Hamilton, Harrison and Matthews, before breaking out together with the retired Court of Appeal Judge Richard Otieno Quach to form the law firm of Nungu Njoroge and Quach Advocates. Is it your evidence that you have never seen? While here, he represented former Treasury Permanent Secretary Dr. Wilfred Koinange in the Golden Bar cases. Kihara later resigned as a partner at Nungu Njoroge and Quach Advocates and went to manage a coffee farm business in Kiambu. It is said that young lawyers joining Hamilton, Harrison and Matthews are directed to read Justice Kihara's files while he worked there to hone their abilities in drafting legal letters. One of the lawyers is quoted to referring to him as, quote, a fine legal mind, while another as saying, quote, friendly even to his junior lawyers, end quote. But other lawyers say that he would run into a headwind if he were to clinch the highly competitive position since he would have overtaken in rank many judges who are more experienced and older in the practice. From the coffee firm, Kihara was later appointed the principal of the Kenya School of Law and later moved up the ladder to become a judge of the High Court. Justice Kihara is said to enjoy significant support from prominent power brokers around President Kibaki. Talk has been ripe that his name has been discussed at least two times during meetings between ODM and PNU. The Nairobi Law Monthly in one article described him as a frontrunner for the office of the Chief Justice along with Professor Gidu Muingai. The Kenyan jurist refers to him as the chosen one while making reference to his application for the CJ. In his most recent ruling, Justice Kihara rejected an application by the Kenya Sugar Board to recover about 1 billion shillings from a former receiver manager of the Muhoroni Sugar Company. He rejected KSB's application to reinitiate a case for a claim of 922.3 million in damages against Ndungu Gadinji, the former receiver manager. The Chief Justice is the highest ranked position within the judiciary. It is the fountain of justice. Will it be Justice Paul Kihara's time to take up this all-important posting and spearhead the much sought after far-reaching judicial reforms? The 10 applicants for position of Chief Justice will be interviewed starting May the 3rd, 2011. Willis Raburu, Citizen Live at 9.